Well, I sent a couple of these today in the post, and um, I had the the sent to A level students and teachers who subscribe to this magazine. I think there's a lot um, subscribed to it, but I did offer to write an article for it. So there is an article. It's meant to be like something that maybe schools haven't thought, or teachers haven't, you know, or students haven't not not linked the curriculum, but maybe it just stretches them a bit or gets them thinking differently. So. Um, yeah, there's different articles about you know, different things. But uh, so the, the article that um, I wrote was this one, the role of macrophores in the water and carbon cycle. Because water cycles and carbon cycles are, are both part of the curriculum. So, yeah. So it's across them two pages and then big photographs and all that. It's not meant to be technical, but it's just for uh, it's a bit more household equipment. speed as you can see on the fourth and fifth the winds were shown as my solar records are slightly lower as you can see um, and surprisingly it, it, it does surprise me that both sites nearly 400 miles apart reached their highest maximum temperatures on the same dates each time um, but Durham beat their record by an absolutely astounding four degrees usually of course these things are broken by half a degree or so but uh, four degrees it shows where our climate is uh, it's going.